All right, homies and homies, before the video begin, first and foremost, let me say thank you guys for tapping in with your boy, checking out the vids. It feels very good to be back recording consistently again. Like I said, it's been a while since I felt like my old self, and I appreciate the ones fucking with your boy. So we're doing a Halloween sale. It's Halloween weekend. You know Bruno needs those treats. Let me let you know about the sale, and I'm going to send you guys on your way. So TigerFitness.com. 15% off all Pump Chaser Sucks, and they got some gifts to give away if your orders are between a certain amount. So be sure to go to TigerFitness.com, support your boy. Really trying to grow the supplement brand, to be honest, because I want to really do some great things for natural bodybuilding. Not gonna lie, the supplement business is a grind, but you have my word, guys. If I can grow this company, I want to do some great things for natural bodybuilding, all right? And BeastMode316.com. You know I do online coaching, macro-based. If you want to use the fuel scale and get whole ready, whether you're male or female, you ready to get your ass in shape, you want somebody to hold, yeah, ha, hold you accountable, somebody's going to check in with you weekly, then fuck with your boy. I got online coaching, 20% off in my site at BeastMode316.com. You know, we got the Just Grind, Natural Booty Matters tees and stuff over there too. So go fuck with that, BeastMode316.com. And if you're already a client, this is a great time to get more weeks, but 20% off. Just type in Halloween and check out. And now, PumpSessions.com. Now, you know a lot of things have been sold out, but we got things coming very soon. But we still have the shorts. So if you guys want some shorts and a few other things we have, like some of the button-ups, go to pumptitures.com, type in Halloween at checkout. Again, thank you guys for your support. Feels good to be recording again. Got a lot of great things coming, and uh, here's the video. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick video showing you a nice recipe. We're having a post-workout meal right here. All yes, right, you know I'm bulking, guys, but I'm not trying to go crazy and go to Jack in the Box after I work out and all that crazy shit. At least not right now. I want yeah. to keep it consistent, keep it controlled. <laughs> Show what we got going on, girl. All righty, guys. So we have some chicken tenderloins. We have some uh, onion and bell peppers, and we have some zucchini. And she prepped it already. Prepped she it chopped already. down the onion, the bell pepper, zucchini, and your chicken. If you need to learn how to cook, I'm sure there's multiple videos on there's YouTube. There's videos showing you how showing to chop you how to it cook. down. Yeah. Um, so right now we're going to use a little bit of sea salt. We're going to use some black pepper. And I wanted to try this garlic pepper. And now if you guys do not have the garlic pepper, just use regular uh, black pepper. Okay. We're gonna use a little bit of uh, garlic powder. And we're gonna add a little kick to it. Let me get that. And Damn. it's gonna add some little crushed peppers. Okay, girl. So right now we're gonna just season my chicken and before first. Before you finish, before oh. I wanna interrupt you, okay. show them the rest. That, you know, oh. the video, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we have this. But this is gonna go in last, okay? Uh, what is this, with your hand? Oh, sorry. Stir this fry is a stir babies? fry. Okay. Yes, this is gonna go in last. Okay. So right now we're gonna cook the chicken first. All right. But right, well, not right now, we're gonna cook the chicken. But we are gonna cook the chicken, but let's go, we're gonna season it. Now everybody season your food to your own liking. Um, I would start off season a little bit first. And then add in as you go if you feel like it's not a it's not enough. But okay. I'm a pro, so if I already are. know what to do. I already know what to look for. Chef in the building. <laughs> All right, she got that pink Himalayan salt. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh. Show what that is real quick. This is. It's uh, been a while since we recorded together, so you know I got a garlic pepper. Garlic pepper. All right. Hold on. Do that for you. Get a knife in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Beef <pepper. laughs> All right, garlic pepper. And this is garlic powder. All right, garlic powder. All right. I'll show them that. Oh, sorry. I'm moving too fast for y'all. Crush. Crush red pepper. Now, this is optional. You don't have to, but... With this, uh, with this meal, I want a little kick. Just nice a little, little bit. kick. I already know. So I'm going to use my hands. All, All right. So I'm going to go wash my hands and put it on the grill. Let's get it. All right. So um, the, my choice of oil, just a little bit, is either avocado oil, avocado oil or you use the avocado spray. Okay. So it's up to you. Um, but if you guys are tracking your macros, like to the T, I would just use the spray. Sounds good. So we're going to use the spray on here. Mm. So cook the chicken fully first. Yeah, on both sides. All right. 
Cool. So how long do you think it'll take both sides? Um, I would say I would give it because the heat is on medium. Okay. So I would give it about maybe like three minutes on each side. Just a, and, and and just pretty much until the shit's cooked. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. A few minutes later. A few minutes later. So right now I'm just taking all the chicken and I'm individually flipping it. And then we're gonna let this cook for another three minutes. All right. And then that's when we put the lid on. Cool. We're back. We're back. Three Let's minutes is <laughs> And keep in mind, guys, we literally got to work it out. We're both tired and hungry, so I apologize for the <laughs> energy just ain't there. No, honestly, <laughs> Stop me growling like I'm a motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so guys, we are um, looking like the chicken is almost done. I'm just gonna do a little, little move around, a little switcheroo. You know, but you could tell like most of the pink is gone. Mm -hmm. But I still, you know, with chicken, you got to be careful. Yeah, so yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be really careful. It's not like beef. But uh, so you got to make sure it's, it's, it's thoroughly cooked. So in the meantime, to get that thorough cook in the middle, I'm going to add this in, trap in all that heat yeah. and help it cook in the middle a little bit longer. Um, I'll give this about another three more minutes. So a total of nine nine to ten minutes on cooking the chicken All right. you want to be very thorough when you cook this chicken or any chicken at that um and then after that we're going to add the vegetables and the sauce and we are almost done all right guys so i think our chicken is done mm -hmm. now it looks plain because we really didn't put that much seasoning on it and the reason why we didn't put that much seasoning on it is because uh we're going to put sauce so here's a quick little tip to see if your chicken is done always take the biggest piece Cut it down the middle. And if it's still pink inside, I don't know if you can see it, but. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom that in. It looks good. No, I want to hold it still from zoom that. Pause. There you go. All right. It looks good. And that's how you can tell uh, your chicken is done. You can just take the biggest piece. If the biggest piece of the chicken is done, then most likely the smaller piece. Also, the thermometer. Done. You can uh, yeah. turn on temperature 165, I believe. But yeah. if you don't have one, this is the second yeah. best thing. This is an old school way to chop it in and have it take a look. Exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Oops. All, All right, right, guys. The magic is about to start. Y'all stay tuned and watch. Here it goes. Okay, so we're going to take some more of our avocado spray. Mm -hmm. Get that all nice. We're going to start adding in vegetables. Mmm. -hmm. And a zucchini. And an onion and pepper. Mm. That should smell good already. <laughs> and then we're going to take our veggies. Stir fry veggies. Stir fry, yep. And we like a lot of vegetables around here. Yeah, man. Because if those micronutrients in, don't run from those micronutrients, guys. Right. Get back to that garden. You feel me? Get back to the garden. So then let me grab one of these wooden spoons. Man, that's a that's filling already. The veggies were long. Yeah. This is enough to have some leftovers, you know, make it by, yeah, for sure. Then we're gonna add a little salt. Alright. Cook it from the soul, huh? Cook it from the okay, soul. Okay. Season to your like. Let them know. People are gonna be asking, what you doing? A little bit of pepper. <laughs> what is she doing over Tap there? Tap into that soul, stop playing. Let's get it all kind of mixed up. Yeah, yeah. Now, the reason why I'm not putting no top on there yet, because when you put the top on, it traps all the heat, and that's where it really cooks all the vegetables. Okay. But I want them to get a little brown first. So we're going to leave these vegetables on. We're going to leave these vegetables for about maybe like five minutes. And then we're going to come stir them up and then add the top. And then they should be done. And people over... People overcook their vegetables all the time. They're not supposed to be so soft that they just melt in your mouth. Yeah. Supposed to have a little crunch to them, okay? But yeah. if you like your vegetables like that, hey, cook it a little longer, it'll be softer. But I like a little crunch to my vegetables. Yeah. Not raw, just a little crunch. Hey, right. right, here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just... Now, how long were, you, were these vegetables sitting? Five minutes. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get them all stirred up. Okay. You can tell that they're starting to cook because they're starting to get a little soft. Yeah, it's starting to break down. Starting they're starting to break soft. down. Okay. Oops, my bad. All right, so then now, what I'm gonna do is just add my top and I'm gonna leave it on it for another five minutes. So, nine to 10 minutes for the chicken. And one more thing, what level of heat you got the vegetables on? Uh, medium. So it's the everything, everything's everything stay on, on medium, medium the whole yeah. time. Cool. I never go high 
unless it's like bowl of water yeah. or things like that. And I don't only, and I only go low on like cheeses, making cheese sauce or anything to do with milk or uh, if I'm, you know, uh, simmering. Cool, only cool. time I do heat, but most of the time everything is always on medium. Yeah, I got you covered, guys. We're medium, it's a medium heat the whole time. Yeah. All right. Details do matter. So we switched off to a bigger pan, guys, because we didn't want to have everything spilling over yeah. and shit like that. I, didn't, I underestimated how much vegetables and mm -hmm. meat. And I was like, oh, this pan's not going to be big enough. So the vegetables are done. Like I said, if you want to cook your vegetables longer, you can. If you want to mushy, I don't like my mushy. So we're going to go ahead and add our chicken. Okay. Mm, that looks good just like That's it is. It sure does. Also, one more thing, guys. Natural Booties t-shirt available at beastmode316.com. Fuck with it, guys. And if you're watching this video today, you're in time for the Halloween sale. Type in Halloween at checkout. Get 20% off anything at the store. And a program, too. Get anything you want from that site. Yes. Okay, so we got everything in the bigger pot. And now it's time to add our sesame seed, okay? Mm -hmm. So these are the um, macros on the back. Two tablespoons, you're getting one gram of fat, and I think seven carbs, yeah. and six sugars. Yeah. So, so there's definitely some sugar up in here, guys. Definitely some sugar, but I mean, this is a big meal. This is absolutely. So it's not going to be like, wake up one morning, you know what I mean? Like, it's it ain't going to make you fucking fat. Make if you fat. It makes sure you're tracking your macros and have some balance in your life. Exactly. So we're going to measure it, <laughs> We're going to measure it. Yeah, because we're curious. We're going to measure it out. We're going to definitely measure it. How many tablespoons do you think she's going to need? I'm going to guess about eight. I don't think I need that much. And keep in mind, this is enough for maybe about three or four, for me, five, maybe five plates, depending on how much you like to eat. Yeah, exactly. This could be two meals, three yeah, meals. Yeah, we, we even have the rice yet. So this is one serving. Yeah, that's good. This is, yeah, that's, that's for sure. That's proper right there. And then we're going to, I think, I think two servings. We'll try two, see what they do for us? Yeah. Uh, she's going to go with two servings. And you can always add more, but remember, you got to add it to your macros, yeah. so you got to be careful. But maybe, I think this is enough. Maybe add two to the pot and then, uh, you know, if not enough, do it yourself. Yeah. Add a little bit to yourself or something. Yeah. Because this sauce, it's going to stretch. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we need four tablespoons total. Yep. All right. Are you cutting? This would be a great meal right here. Because we got good vegetables, this chicken. It's real low in carb, pretty much. Yeah. Now I'm bulking, guys. I want the rice. I want it all. You know, I might add a little more sauce to it later. You know? Yeah, exactly. You can kind of add as you go. Mm-hmm. That looks good, man. It smells really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure so does. I. Oh, crap. Mmm. Mm. Woo! So I think I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. So I'm going to add three servings of okay. this sauce. Because cool. I think two is good, but. Three is better. Three is better. My chicken is looking, looking a little naked. Mm -hmm. Like we just said, two servings is good, but three is better. Three is what it's probably ideal for us. Ooh wee! I'm, we gonna take all our uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> servings. Looks nice and sticky too. Okay. There you go. Now this, yeah, this is. Oh, now we're talking. Definitely. Now we're talking. So three servings for sure is ideal for us. Now, it might not be ideal for y'all, but y'all might want more. This is definitely ideal for us. All right, so while that's simmering, so now I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because I want it to kind of simmer in that sauce. So I'm going to bring my heat down to a low. Bring it down to low now. And okay. then I'm going to add the top. Oh, yeah. No, no, that's the wrong top. My bad. I forgot I changed pots. Show y'all how to improvise. So if you don't have no top, yeah, I ain't got no top for this pot, guys. You, you can use another top yeah, that goes yeah. on top. Make it happen, guys. No excuse. Make it happen. Shit. Or you can use a pan. All right. Yeah, we make it happen. And we'll that is excuses. just as good. Hey, as a job. Hey, don't get the shit done. Hey, don't talk shit in the comments either. <laughs> don't talk no shit. We get it done. So while that's simmering, we're going to go ahead and put this in the microwave. All right. But like I said, it's really up to you if you guys want brown rice or uh, white rice or if you want to cook your rice on the stove. But this is what me and Chris, we're going to do jasmine rice. And we're gonna put this in the microwave for three minutes. All right, we got the orange chop. What you doing with that now? So this is just orange. This is optional, but I think it gives a little zazz. Okay. Mmm, she sure do. I can smell that fresh orange squeeze. All right. And then I'll put the top back on. 
let those juices sit and the rice is done so let's go check on this rice I'm about to plate it Got a cup of rice right there mm -hmm. That's mm. nice. 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 So we're gonna take this off. Pop that top one Pop time. Top. Pop that top. Professional. Easy and simple, guys. No excuses to fall off on your nutrition. All right, let's get it done. Right. Let's get it done, guys. Right. Ooh, it look good. Who that for you or me? That's for you. Good. I'm thank you. I'm just gonna clean it up really quick. Yeah. Y'all see that? Oh, she ain't do it like that. You ain't had to do that. <laughs> Thousand dislikes okay. already. You're going to have people hating on me. Hold on. Let me see. Let me find something. Hold on. That's too pretty right there. Ain't that pretty? Yeah, a little spin. Don't do them like that, guys. I'm going to add another cup of rice in a minute, though. But let's... Let me see that sesame seed. Add a little sesame seed. You were killing it, girl. Literally showed you how it's done, all right? Look at that. Ain't that pretty? We got a little spin. Oh guys, as you see, got two cups of rice. I'm trying to get the size back on when you feel me. These guys have a little dash of rice up in there. Mm -hmm. Let me do a little taste test. We're gonna send you guys on your way. Don't forget, 20% off code, Halloween, beefmore316.com, and Tiger Fitness is doing a sale for the Halloween weekend, Friday through Sunday. 15% off, free shipping and orders, $99 or more. Fuck with TigerFitness.com, guys. As always, your support is much appreciated, guys. Let's get to it, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Girl! Chef Denise! Y'all try this at home, and if you do, make sure you tag me on the ground. Tag Denise on the ground. All right, let us know how you like it. Hey, and we'll see you more in the future with more videos and recipes if that's what you guys want. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.